Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can install Laravel application in our Windows system. So first of all, we have to go to Laravel documentation. So let's go to Laravel documentation first. So let's go to Google and in here, let's type Laravel, then enter. Now let's go to the official page of Laravel. Then let's click the documentation. Now in here, click on the installation and scroll down. So in here, uh, as you can see, we need to install Composer first before installing the Laravel. So let's click here. Let's open this in a new tab and click the download button. Now, after that, we have to click here, download and run composer setup.exe. So let's click here. Now that the download is finished, let's open this, open file. And install for all users, recommend it. Now click next, again next. Now next again, and this time install. Now let's wait until the installation is finished. So the installation has been finished. Now click finish. Then let's go back to the documentation in here. Sometimes remember that the, after installing the composer, it will not work. So you have to restart your PC. Now let's go and install PHP in our PC by downloading and installing XAMPP. So let's go to Google again. And in here, let's type download XAMPP, enter, now click the official link of apachefriends.org then in here based on your machine click the let, download the latest version of XAMPP so I'm going to download 8.2.12 so let's download this now let's wait until the downloading is finished Okay, so the download is finished. Now let's open, open the file. Click OK. Next. This one also next. Again, now if you want to select a different folder, you can change the folder also. So I'm going to use the default location, C ZAM. Click next, next. Next again, and now it's preparing the files and installing the XAMPP in our system. So let's wait until th this installation is also finished. Okay, so the installation of XAMPP is finished. Now let's, uh, do you want to start control panel now? Let's keep it take and let's click finish. Okay, so our XAMPP is and install now let's start the apache and mysql so let's start both of them now after zamb is installed and running then let's go back to the documentation in here uh, written that we also need to install node and npm so let's go to the google again and in here let's type download node.js then let's click the first link now after that let's click the pre-built installer and i am going to download the lts version which is 20 so let's click download node.js version 20.16.0 now let's wait until the installation is finished okay let's click open file now click next Take it next, 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 next again, next again, and next, and then install. Yes. Okay, let's wait until the installation is finished. It will take a little time. 
Okay, so the installation is finished. Let's click the finish button. Now that the installation is finished, we have to configure our ZAM and enable zip extension because we are using the latest version of ZAM. In this version, the zip is not enabled by default, so we have to enable it. So let's go to Apache config and in here, let's go to php.ini. In when this notepad is open, search for zip and press enter. Now in here we can see we have an extension is equal to zip. Just remove this from the beginning and save it. Close this. Stop the Apache. Now let's run it again. Okay, it's now running. Let's go back to the documentation and now let's copy this command. Now let's go to our C drive. And let's scroll down, let's go to ZAM, htdocs, and in here let's open CMD. So let's open CMD. Now in here, if I uh, type composer and press enter, I will get this mes uh, message, this commands. So it means that our composer has been installed successfully and we can use it. So let's clear this. Now let's paste the command that we have copied from the documentation composer create project laravel slash laravel example app. This example app is our application name. We can change it to anything we want. For example, test app. Now let's press enter. If it's your first time that you are downloading Laravel, it will take some time to download, otherwise it will install fast. So let's wait until the installation is finished, then we will continue. Okay, so the Laravel application installation is finished. Now if we come here, you can see it, a new folder has been created with the name of test app. So let's go back to the documentation and in here, Let's uh, scroll down and in, let's copy CD or let's, we can type it also. So let's type the, sorry, CD and our application name, test app, enter. Okay, well now we are inside our application. In here, let's type PHP artisan serve, enter. Now our application is running in this address. If I hold control and click to this link, it will open our application. So this is it. This is how we can install Laravel application and Windows machines. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, write it down in the comment. And don't forget to press the subscribe and like button. See you guys in the next video.